that time of year again, guys. Normally, I would wait until next year to film a squishy update or a squishy collect collection update, but a lot of you have been requesting it, and I'm going to be cleaning out my collection soon because it's just gotten so large. I don't need this many squishies, and I definitely don't have the room for it. So, I'm going to show you guys everything that I currently own and is in my collection. Not included here are some freebies I've received that I'm going to use on. Um, as extras for when I sell squishies, as well as things I've given away. Uh, so this is all from my personal collection. And as you can see, I no longer use those little bins. They have gotten way too small of space to store all of this madness. So let's get started. Normally I would have some kind of order. Uh, for example, the last squishy collection video I did was smallest to largest. However, everything is so mixed up that I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna go with what I have. Um, so we're going to start with the drawer that I don't know if you saw in the clip earlier. While I definitely don't use that um, plastic drawer to store my squishies, I do use one of the drawers to store, store the small stuff from JDream and any other mini squishies that might get lost anywhere else. So we'll start with that and we'll start with something I didn't film. So I really like Spongebob and I picked these up at Target. No, I picked these up at Walmart. So I have four of them, and I was going to film myself opening them, but my sister and I worked really hard to make sure that we got exactly the ones that I wanted. So it wouldn't have been that fun since I already knew which ones they were going to be. So these are the Spongebob meme mashems. And I have Patrick. He is by far my favorite. He's so cute. And they're both are all squishy. They're those water type squishies. Here's the Spongegar. That's probably my favorite meme. And then we have, you like Krabby Patties, don't you Squidward, Spongebob? <laughs> it's so funny. They're not that stretchy, but they are very, very squishy. So if you find these, go ahead and get yourself some because they are super cute. So those are the Spongebob squishies. I count them as squishies. I mean, why not? All right, next I have a plain panda bun. Um, I don't know if I want to show all of them that I have. This one is a squishier kind, but I do have my original in the bin. Next I have these two mini Cutie Creative Mini Loafs, and I'm not going to open them because it's just a pain to put them back in the packaging. But they have the Cutie Creative sticker on them, and they are pretty squishy, just not that slow rising. But I'm just a huge fan of these. Next I have, I honestly forgot I had this actually. This is the Hayaru, I think. Little toast bread. I said bread. Chocolate cake. Very squishy. And it just smells like soap. Does not smell like chocolate at all but it's very squishy. Next I have one of these mochi, uh, I don't know what to call these, just squeeze toys really with the fruit inside. This was strawberry I believe and I got this as a freebie from Delightful Boutique. Here's the Gudetama egg that I never squish, never took out of its packaging. Has a little Gudetama inside. Pretty cute. Next is this super, super dense squishy from Japan based on the series Kurokomo Basket, which is Kuroko's basketball in English. Got this from Delightful Boutique as well. Very dense, but I like it because he's cute. Cute character. Next is this Yumeno uh, little cow squishy. Very squishy little guy. And to me, he does not smell like chocolate, just some sort of sweet scent that I can't really name. But it has Yumeno on the bottom. And he's pretty squishy. So the next few squishies are the ones that my friend bought for me. So here's the cute little mushroom kitty cat. Very squishy. Next is the Taiyaki fish. 
also pretty squishy. This cookie. And I think the rest are somewhere on my desk. I just don't know where. This donut. Very squishy as well. Oh, it's two of them. My bad. Here we have this dumpling. Very squishy and slow rising. The next thing is this little chicken. I think I got this as a freebie from somebody, but I don't remember who. Very squishy. Next is this little J Dream toast. And it's the chocolate one. Here are some more little freebies, this little guy. Or did I just get him? I might have just gotten him. And then this thing is not really squishy, it's more like a plastic toy. Here are two of the little mochi ones. These are my favorite. Here I have a little chicken toast. Very dense. Next is this cheese stretch toy. Very squishy and soft. I think it's fun. And it comes with this tag. Very fun. Next are two of these other ones. Very squishy. And then the banana. This cat cracker. Very cute packaging. Next I have this colorful cookie cracking toy. It's unopened. The other one that I did open um, has passed. <laughs> They're very fragile. Next, I have this one. Looks exactly like that dumpling earlier, but this one is not very slow rising. It's pretty fast, and then it has this tag, which I've seen in other squishies, Big Monkey. I just don't know what they make specifically. Next is this chocolate bar. It's not squishy. It's more of um, a cracking toy. Very cute. I have a whole random assortment of J Dream. So here is from their sweet series. I buy all of these from squishyshop.com. I think that's an eclair. This is my favorite. The bun. Here is part of their sweet feature series. These are more stretchy than they are squishy. Here's a starfish. Here's another one of the sweet kind. This is a cream puff. Here is a little bread loaf. Very cute. I like the packaging. Here is the little small stretchy orange. This has a tag on it, but it's not that special. Next is this cornet and the Little brown part is squishy. Rubber. Plastic. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we haven't even gotten to the bigger squishies and I'm already losing room. So here's the Baumkuchen, which is a German pastry. Or I'm assuming it is. Every time I order it, it says it's from Germany. Little squishy stuff. Melon bread by J Dream as well. This is a hot dog. I think I only bought one of these because I didn't need more than one hot dog. Also bought from squishyshop.com and by J Dream. Here is the rest of their little sea creature series. This is a sea cucumber and this is... Huh. I forgot what this is called. <laughs> Unless this is a sea cucumber. But yeah, they're super hard. They're mainly a squishy toy, but they don't stretch that much. Uh, here is this burger, also by J Dream. Very cute. Here is the luxurious roll cake. Here 
here is my favorite little sushi guy. I will open this one because I like squishing it. This is a little sushi thing. I sold the rest of them because I only really wanted this one. It's so cute. It's also by J Dream, I'm assuming. And then there's this little bread. Oh, here's the little counterpart to that one. This one's the peanut bread. And there is also this one that I also kept on that sushi series. These are super fun. Get dirty very easily though. Next is this delightful boutique little bun that I got as a freebie. It's really, really dense. Here is a little Rilakuma burger. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to take it out of the packaging because getting the the foam strap out of that hoop is such a pain. But yes. Here, I don't know what this is, honestly. Here's some licensing on the back. I got this a long time ago in a little grab bag that I bought from somebody. But it's very squishy and I really like it because it makes a sound. Also from that grab bag, there's this cracker mirror. So there you go. And it has the queen on the back. It's actually pretty squishy, honestly, despite it being so thin. Like that one. And then there is this Atsushi from Binan Kyo Kyo Chikyu Bibu <laughs> High School Earth Defense Club from an anime. It's more of a stress ball, but I think it counts. All right, next we have the Rilakkuma. Rilakkuma. <laughs> next we have the Bear Pancakes by Punimaru, the mini version. I also have the large version. We'll get to that one when I open that bin. <laughs> Just trying to get through all the stuff that's outside of it first. So here it is. It's very cute, very squishy, and it smells amazing. And then the tag is different from the larger one. These smaller ones have different tags. This one comes with a spoon. There's the licensing. Oh, smells so good. So good, like blueberries. Next is this I Bloom I Love Strawberry in a mini size. Oops, it's very cute. Looks exactly like the big version and bloom is right there. You can't see it probably. Oh my god, but this smells so good. Like natural strawberry smell or something. Next is this peach that my friend bought me. Oops. <laughs> she got it from wish.com and it's pretty, pretty squishy. Squishier than eye bloom, honestly. Does not have a scent though. It's just smells like plastic. Very squishy though. Uh, here is my Aridi mango. <laughs> uh, I have not learned, <laughs> and I kept putting this next to that um, Michael's storage bin whose paint adheres to squishy paint, so I ha it had a little accident again. But it's still really squishy, and I mean, it still, still works as a squishy. Next is this little uh, squishy fun squ chicken baby, and here is the packaging. I keep it in a folder when I'm not using it. So here is the little chicken. And I honestly really like this one. It smells just like baby powder, which is amazing. Very cute. Here is this J Dream Jumbo Toast. I just did a video on this, so I'm gonna not take it out of the packaging, but here's a little tag, and it ha there are six different variations of this one, I believe. It pretty much feels like a sponge, squishy, not slurizing or anything, and it's not scented. The Jumbo Eye Bloom Peach. Now this one I've finally decided to take out of its packaging and storage to squish. It says bloom right there, and honestly, these are so fragile. Ugh, it feels like clay. It's pretty awesome. And it does smell delicious. Not that strong, but still good. First, from the Cafe D ends that were hung up, here is the melon bun in green. There are three color variations, I believe. There's a yellow, a green, and was it a pink? But it's very cute. 
here is the Sammy Hello, the Patissier Halloween Little Cream Puff. And I am so excited for the new stuff that's coming out. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Very squishy. Here is the little Hello Kitty Lovely Sweets. I don't know what this is, honestly. It's like a cookie and this pops out, but when I first popped it out, the paint came off. So I'm just gonna leave that in its packaging, but there's licensing on the back. Next is the Sammy the Petitier Cornet. Very squishy. This is the Sweet Life Hamster. Very cute. I usually don't take this one out of the packaging because I'm scared of the sprinkles falling off. There's his butt on the back. <laughs> Here is the Premium Cafe DM series. This is what it looks like since it's already open. There's licensing on the bottom. Very squishy. All right, now let's get to the stuff that was outside of the bin. These are the squishies that I squish very often, so they're just kind of hanging out outside my desk. So first is the little pop-pop sheep. This is my first one I ever got. He is stained, unfortunately, and it's sad but there is Pat Patsu on the bottom. He still smells like whatever it is he's supposed to smell, but it's kind of starting to fade away. He's still very squishy though, and there's a couple defects on him. I've noticed that um, this particular squishy is very easy to defect. I think it has to do with the paint they use, but here is the packaging. It's very cute. I would highly, highly recommend getting this squishy if you ever find it on sale. To keep going with the sheep theme, here is the Choco Sheep by You Dream and Stamp Brand. He is so cute, oh my gosh. He unfortunately got stained as well a little bit at the top there, so I quickly moved him when I noticed that. I just have terrible luck with white squishies. I should really stop buying them, but they're so cute. And I know they make um, different colors of these now. And this one smells so good, like something sweet. It's not chocolate, but it definitely smells delicious. And here is the packaging. Here is the other pop-pop sheet I have. I just have this one for display, so I'm not going to take him out of the packaging. So here is the Cafe DN Donut. These are super, super squishy. I think the tag got a little bent there. Here is the Cafe DN Chocolate Croissant. I like how realistic this one looks. Very, very squishy again. Here's the Cafe DN. Why do I keep showing the tag? It's the same tag. Here's the burger. I'm after the double layer burger, but unfortunately no one has it for a reasonable price yet. So I'm hoping they don't sell out before I get a chance to buy it. Here is the Creamy Candy Marshmallow Jumbo version. Y'all have already seen this, but I guess I'll show it anyway. It comes with a pink ball chain and is super squishy. Andy smells like peaches. Pretty awesome. Next I have this Kibrew. Is it Kibrew? It may have been a reedy chicken leg bread thing. <laughs> Has a ton of defects, but it's still really, really squishy. And um, this is something to note with low quality squishies. Over time, they're going to get gross. So see, here's some green on there. I think that's just a result of um, the paint quality. But it's still really squishy. I just wouldn't give these cheap ones to your children since that might be toxic. And I don't know where the packaging is. I thought I did, but here I have the Pretty Creative Bakery Bread Loaf. So here is the packaging. It has licensing on the back. And this is the first one I ever got, so it's pretty, pretty defected now. Still very squishy. And that was a result of a Kibrew strawberry. So these do get stained as well. Moving on to the ones with boxes that were just kind of displayed on my desk. Here we have the Kiwi Kunimaru. 
and this is a recent purchase so I'm not going to spend much time on it but here you go it smells amazing and it's huge Ugh. it has the little thing on the back just squishing the air out of it you could like it wafts the smell around the room and I can smell it from here but yes that's an awesome squishy and I highly recommend it and it comes with this little kiwi cheeky monkey tag next I have the chawa kakigori sorry running out of room to display this and here is the tag this one smells amazing some like fruity something but I'm not gonna open it because it's just a pain to open but it's very very slow rising and squishy and I highly recommend it or any of the flavors honestly they're all amazing I have the Punimaru Animal Donut in the panda flavor. It comes with this little panda tag. Not sure if you can see that because of the ball chain, but it's very cute. And here is the actual squishy. It's very squishy and smells like coffee. Next I have this Jumbo Punimaru Bakery Cornet. This was the cat version. I would have gotten panda if it wasn't vanilla flavored or butter flavored I think so this is too big to show in my camera space but I will pull it out for you it has not been in its packaging for a while because this was a gift from a friend and here we go it I just don't like to squish this one because it smells like butter the only scent of coffee is in the kitty but the rest smells like butter and I just don't like it but it's very squishy and very fun to play with and it has a couple defects kind of very squishy next we have this Yumeno hamburger and I'm sure you guys know about the drama from it still have not gotten my re refund from creamy candy they haven't even responded to my messages but the squishy is very cute and there we go 